Hey buddy, what are you watching? Nothing. Mmm, I think I've seen it. It's rubbish. Stupid yeah. fast assy. <laughs> Today on Stupid Fast RC, we're looking at the Twister Quattro Pro Quadcopter. It can carry a GoPro. Hey, uh, I can carry a GoPro. What's special about that? Hi, I'm Todd from Stupid Fast RC. Yeah, I'm Jordan from Hobby Tech. Uh, today we want to talk about a few of the new quadcopters on the market. Um, first one I'll talk about is the Twister Quattro X. This is a great new release from Twister. Um, we've been waiting for it for quite a while now. The main features on a quad like this is that it has all the functions of the bigger brands like the DJI Phantoms and the Blade 350 QXs being the return to home, um, altitude lock, GPS lock. Um, so I mean it's a really advanced quad for its price. Um, these are available as a ready to fly in either mode 1 or mode 2 and um, you know they come obviously with a remote on them which has the toggle switches to do return to home mode um, and uh, stability mode, altitude lock, GPS lock. Um, so they are quite an advanced quad. Um, this quad does come with a 2700 milliamp hour battery as standard, is a 3S LiPo. Um, so you're looking at standard flight times of about 12 to 14 minutes. Uh, obviously you can fit bigger batteries into them and depending on if you're flying with a camera or not your flight time will vary. Um, the nice thing with a product like this being made by Twister, obviously spare parts are easily available for them, uh, very good backup here in Australia. Uh, and you look at the quad compared to some of the other ones, it does have a nice bright colour scheme on it, makes it easier to see at night, as well as having the LEDs on the underside and on the back of the quad so you can see orientation. Uh, it does come standard with the tall landing gear on it uh, and it also does come with a rubber mounted GoPro mount so GoPro cameras can be put straight onto there, no modifications needed. Other quadcopters in the range, you get the Blade 350, the QX2 is the latest one. This one in particular is the AP Combo, so that comes with uh, Blade's brushless gimbal as well as their HD camera. Um, that camera does have a streaming facility so it does stream to your iPhone um, or Android phone, uh, streams your video down. Uh, also available as a ready to fly mode 1 or mode 2. These do come with a 3000 milliamp hour battery, also looking at about 10 to 12 minutes of flight time on them. Um, this particular model does come with the tall landing skids on it. The Blade model without the camera gimbal, which is just their standard QX2, uh, that doesn't come with the tall, tall legs on it, uh, but it does come with a GoPro mount. Any questions on these top? I've got a AR drone at home. What's the difference between them? The main differences between the AR drones and models like these uh, is that these are radio controlled instead of being uh, smartphone controlled. Um, so they're a lot more accurate in their movements uh, and also with the features of return to home and um, GPS lock and stuff, those are some of the features that the older AR drones didn't have. Uh, and the other main thing on this is the range that you can fly them. So, I mean, you get a much further range on some of these quads. Um, I mean, you've got over a kilometer of range on them. So they're a completely different uh, toy to play with. Yeah. So, on the sim, are they the same? They, they're, very, they're very similar to fly uh, um, compared to the ones on the sim. The nice thing with quadcopters is they're great for beginners to fly because they're always self-leveling. Um, so it makes it a lot easier to fly them a helicopter for example so yeah I would say if you can fly this on the sim you'd be pretty confident to fly it in real life yeah. thanks for watching our video we'll see you next time <laughs> hey buddy what are you watching <laughs> <laughs> hey buddy what are you doing From. Don't forget to subscribe and watch this